here's my uh, little mini drill press here. So what I want to do is, is make some hold down clamps for it for the table so I can you know, hold stuff down and so they kind of clamp and run in these grooves either side here. Most of the time I'll use one of these but sometimes, occasionally, you just can't get to where you want to. So what I'm going to do is 3D print some on the 3D printer. So yeah, let's go take a look. And then, so I went on to Thingiverse and I found these uh, two-piece clamps here. There's this little U-type uh, piece here which pivots within the main hold-down clamp. Uh, so you can actually use the clamp basically at any angle and it will lock down itself so you haven't got to use like two bolts to bolt it down. So these look perfect for the job so I think I'm going to print a couple of these off. Right then, so I printed a couple off, and now you can see how they work. This piece here pivots within the clamp, so that means then you can, you know, use it at any height and just use uh, one bolt for it. Okay then, so the way I'm going to hold uh, it down to the table is, uh, I'm going to use this threaded rod here because I haven't got a bolt the right length, so that means I can cut it to the size that I need. Uh, on the underside of the table, I'm going to have a nut and then on top of that a washer which will ride on the underside of the table and then I can then thread the hold down clamp on and I will put a washer on here so it doesn't wear the plastic out quite so quickly and then to actually tighten the whole thing down I'm going to just uh, slit the threaded rod with a hacksaw and then push this washer in and then weld it to the threaded rod or uh, solder it, whichever one is easiest. Okay, so the way I'm actually um, clamping this threaded rod so I can cut it is, is uh, we have two nuts on there. So that means then I don't damage the thread. Uh, it just makes it a lot easier to cut it. And then you don't have the problem of uh, the thread binding afterwards. So here's what the other one come out like. That'll do perfectly good. Okay, so there we go. Uh, they're complete. Uh, they look pretty good. And let's see if they work. Yeah, all right, and that's a success. Uh, one thing I might do is uh, print these in with more infill so they're a lot more solid, but uh, they're pretty sturdy and I think they'll probably last a while. 
I'm going to print a few more off anyway, just in case. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, I call that a success. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.